All right, how does find link? Share. Try hard. Yeah, we'll try hard. <sighs> this will be my first time trying hard. This is probably not going to go well. also have an hour before I have to get laundry. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed. Step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Uh, we fled London, crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, a convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to read the site the reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst. Now that the world as we know it has crumbled, we have to survive. Fight the cold, we need to get the generator working, stockpile some coal, and start the generator. Alright, we're not going to actually do that. Well, we will. Um, so the conceit of this game is... Oh, right, we don't have any wood at all. Um, Alright, let's get some people plucking wood. And... Coal. Actually, I'm not going to do that coal. And do this coal over here. There we go. Um, so the conceit of this game is it's cold. 
Uh, it's negative 20 degrees, which is actually comfortable. No, chilly. Um, and there's this generator that burns coal and provides some warmth and basically just have to survive. So I'm going to let the game run for a little bit. You can see we're starting to acquire coal and wood and steel. Uh, extend the road outward a little bit. So I need 15 wood and 5 steel. Actually, then I'm not going to extend the road outward. I don't need that. And while we're waiting for our wood and steel to show up, I'm going to advance time just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to get a workshop in there. And then not build that road. First things first, beacon. So this is our uh, tech building. We research. Ah, oh, I forgot to do laws. Need emergency shift, which we're never going to actually use. So we can now click this button. People will work for 24 hours. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually need that. I might. This is hard. It's a difficulty I've not tried before. Um, family torn apart. Sir, so a woman came forward after we built the workshop, said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Well, I'm working on it. Um... So yeah, we're researching the beacon. Work time's over. Which means we should build some medical posts and two tents. I'll provide shelter for everyone. I think I can meet that promise. Um... So it's nighttime. Nighttime's a good time to uh, have a generator, or the generator operational, especially with uh, homeless people. You can see it's melted the snow around. Um, so it has a little bit of a range. Uh, you can expand the range with technologies. You can expand the heat levels with other technologies. Currently, it is only uh, one heat level, but it's also only 20 degrees below. So. We should be fine. What is, what is it now? The wisdom of the crowd. When facing demands, remember this. People look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything. Uh, if you fix the problem your way, it's fine. So you don't have to uh, agree to demands. I will probably agree to demands and then fail to... Uh, fail to live up to them. I'm going to keep them there just for now. Um, so yeah, our generator is running. It consumes six coal per hour. So we have about 20 hours left. And it helpfully r lets us know that we have not that much coal. We're only plucking 51 a day, which is not that great. And the next temperature drop is down to negative 40. And it's going to stay negative 40 for a long time. That's... Not ideal. That's not at all ideal. Alright. We don't need to run that anymore. We only have four sick, which means I can pull five engineers off, get back to plucking coal. And we're wasting valuable hours of research because I was a little bit slow in the laws. Extended shift. This is important. Extend, extend, extend. And... I think I'll be fine. So we're going to get 102 coal today. And our beacon will be ready. Which requires wood and steel, I believe. 
Generator is down. All right. Um, faster gatherings next. Begin. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do much in by the way of. I need to get that built as soon as possible. Um. I'm not going to do much in the way of expanding the actual heat zone of the uh, generator just because I'm going to prioritize nope, steel rakes depleted. That means I can set about plucking coal or plucking more wood because I do not have enough wood to provide shelter for everyone and set up a uh, scouting team. I need 40, and 60 is 100, and I'm not going to get 100 before the next hour is out. But I do need scouts going basically immediately. All right, have ninety. It'll it'll have to do. Uh, Lost expedition, I believe, has. Yeah, let's just go for it. It might be people. It might be uh, just supplies. I think it's a steam core. All right, turn on the Jenny. I do not have white enough. Nope. That's not where that goes. Five wood short. Ready to search. Uh, people cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for lost people in the Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Um, I do not have food. Cooked house costs 20 wood. Let's turn on overdrive. Make it extra toasty warm. Going on an expedition. Okay, so these three people, um, they're actually on the scouting expedition so they're they both can't get sicker but they're not going to get healed until they come back more laws i'm gonna hold off on choosing these two just for now and we'll go soup Four o'clock, I believe that's when people can stop getting sick. All right, so it's going to be negative 40 for one, two, three days and three nights. That is not ideal. You are max shift. Yes, good. You're almost out of wood. Do I not have any more wood? I have one more patch of wood. Oh no. Okay. Alright, the rest of our uh, people made it camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. So, four children, nine engineers, and twenty-two uh, twenty-two workers. Okay. So you are about done with your wood. You're going to need to basically immediately get shifted over here. Also in negative 40, uh, the people plucking will start getting sick. 
which is not good. Also, I should have you just to get people better soon. There we go. Um, which means I'm going to need to switch to using... I'm going to need you. Um, I can stop that and start it. Basically, that means workers will come and build. I am also going to need a cookhouse that will be active for exactly one day. That wood's gone. Good. Wonderful. Perfect. Um, I don't have any other source of wood. So I just have 100, 200 wood left. That's good. This is good. This is going... This is going fantastically already. Okay. I could research sawmills after this. And I think I will. Because I need a wood income. Sawmills aren't great. And I'm also going to need gathering posts. I need a gathering post for you. Probably a gathering post for you. Coal is important, but wood is currently more important. Awesome. Shelter promise fulfilled. Faster gathering researched. I actually can't afford that because I need to research the sawmill. All right. They're back. I can send them back into the Frostlands. Oh, we get a cutscene. Don't ask how they get down the rim of the canyon. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition has left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Alright, so now I can do it, but I can't build the street out to, towards it. Alright, let's go to the observatory. I only have not that much uh, time to actually start making meals. So it would be nice if you guys could finish building this. You get to work for the next five hours. It's fine. You can handle it. Um, it's as close as I can get it. Wood there. You. Work. Work. And while you're working, you may as well pluck some more coal. Because we're going to need it. Actually, I don't have enough wood. But getting a second workshop would be good too. Since I have the engineers to staff it. And I have 35 homeless people. Which is four houses. Well, tents. Alright, get to work, get to work all, all the time, because you're going to eat, and you have finished doing what you need to do. So no more going to eat, they will just pluck away at these food rations on their own. So you're plucking what would I have, sawmill requires steel to build, I believe. Go around this way. Maybe. One, two, three. Book of Laws. Stay in life. Right. 
We need the heat. And that will be the last time we turn it off for a good long while. And I did not get sawmills. This is unfortunate. I have so many hungry people. Survivors! Okay, something is amiss at the observatory. Snow covers, precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Instead of astronomers, we are met with some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important to them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of atmosphere by southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Let's get back to the base with everyone. Alright. I'm going to need extended shifts on most things. Alright, no one working in cold conditions. Unfortunately, those houses are cold. That's not ideal. Thankfully, we don't have to get heaters or power upgrades just yet. Going for drawing boards once I get enough wood. Actually, I need to plunk down a sawmill. Yeah, that'll do. Um, can I do anything else while I'm waiting for sawmill? Steelworks. Yes, steelworks is good. All right, more homeless people. All right, let's go to the crash site. I could go to Sturdy Shelter and follow that, but I want supplies and especially steam cores. Those are going to be vital to our survival. 30 starving people already. Oh, no. Okay, they're going to die. That's, uh... That's basically guaranteed. They're going to die. Come on. Come on. Brilliant. Okay. Um... I'll swing you inside. Oh, need new laws. Overcrowding is going to be important. It's not ideal. Alright. I only get 13 per day. Because I don't have hunting tools. I, sh I should have gotten hunting tools. That was dumb of me. People are hungry. I have three days to feed everyone. I think I can do it. Let's throw on another hunter's hut. For wood. I should have gotten I should have gotten hunting gear. That was dumb of me. Only thirteen per day. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um, no longer working there. You can just work regular hours. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. it. We must find other people and ask them for help on our survival. All right. You have not much wood or steel left, but thankfully my sawmill is operational now. Alright, you guys are going to come back with a tiny bit of food. It's not going to be enough to feed everyone, but at least the starving people should survive. Wood and raw food. This is where exploration was split when our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. 
There are plenty of priceless supplies at the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a, some sort of frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Uh, I know what the gloomy cave is. It's survivors, but also bears, and five of our people might die fighting the bears. Let's go for it. Right, the cookhouse can't work because it's too cold. All right, I need heaters then. I need heaters. That's the long and the short of it. 11 hours. So you'll get it done before the end of the day, but probably not before. How come I didn't get any food from... Okay, whatever. Uh... Why did I get Steelworks? That was dumb. Alright. Let's throw in another Hunter's Hut. Right. Do some class mixing. You cannot work because it's cold. People are homeless. That's not good. And let's throw up a second workshop. So our coal income is actually surpassing our consumption by a fair margin because of this gathering post and we do have a fair amount of coal left at it so coal is not necessarily a issue that we need to worry about just yet all right heaters researched which means you need to get heated that'll at least put you up to chili and we need drawing boards Discontent is very, very angry. People are not happy with me. Let's make them not happier with me. Seven sick absences? I should have turned on the overdrive. And the first of our people died. Yeah. We'll have to do... We'll have to do laws. Well, this isn't going to be a no-death run. Uh, we come... We hear terrified shrieks coming from the cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one. Risk attacking the bears. We had to help. Ultimately, the scouts died in their injuries, but the people are coming home. All right, cemetery. See, I'm playing this like I normally play a normal game, and that's clearly not going well. It's my engineers that are dying. It's because they're starving. Because I don't have food. This is not good. Cold? You shouldn't be cold. Don't be cold. 30 food? That's all I get? 30 food? Thirty food should be turned into fifteen times five. It's over sixty, seventy food. Well, apparently it wasn't enough. <sighs> I don't have any spare citizens. That's fine. Now I do. I need scouts. Let's uh, catch these survivors. And they're going to be starving. All right. 
So I have five general workers. And I just need the food, is basically. I don't know why I did drawing boards. I need the hunter's gear. How much time is that going to do? Eight hours, so it's not going to be done today. Which means one more time of just very, very low food income. Um, I don't need workers there. I don't need workers here. More sick beds needed. I'll open a new medical post. It's going to be easiest. Just throw it there. We're out of wood. What was the... Uh, something happened. That was the sound of... Oh. Scouts reached the people, and now they're escorting them in. All right. We need ceremonial funerals. They return to the city. More homeless people. Sturdy shelter. All right. We need to actually open the sick bed. Hope rises, and now we can. I guess we can keep it operational. 28 starving people. This round is not going well. I have 16. I don't have enough wood. Thirty-five, really? That is so bad. Coal pile depleted. That's not a good sign. We need another gathering post. Which also means we're getting to the point where we need another solution to coal. Um, bunk houses would be good. More scouts. 20 wood. Gathering post resources depleted, so we can get rid of that. We still have, uh, we still have wood coming, and we no longer have any steel. Yeah, I'll keep it operational. I don't need you anymore. You can go back to Chile. Medical post, you don't need to be running. You don't need to be running. Right. I was waiting for 20. More scouts. You're also not going to work. All right. Child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up and attend it. That's super depressing. Seven people have died. Thankfully, we're starting to cut back on our hunger issues. We're not actually going to meet our demand, so discontent will rise and hope falls. Cold homes. I cannot address that. More discontent. This is fine. We need people. We need food. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A sign post by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home, 27. We get one steam core. Ouch. Right, you are not going to be all that effective. 
Especially since most of you are in treatment. Alright, this is coal, coal, iron. I think my first steam hub will be out here. I'm getting more scouts, yeah. Where is everyone working? You don't need to be working there. Um, you don't need to be working there. More scouts. Uh, steam hubs. Yes. I need to start moving people away from this cold. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winterholm in AD 1887. The bridge was kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. So we could either get one automaton or two steam cores. Now, with two steam tours, cores, we could actually build two automaton. But I might, in this situation, prioritize having an automaton. They're so good. I'm going to dismantle it. Play in the long game. We turn the automaton off and disassemble it, extracting a decent amount of resources from it. As we were finishing, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the now empty bridge. Uh, let's go to the large convoy. It's probably going to be survivors, but at this point I don't care. The search for other cities. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we were on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the auto automaton under the care of an engineer? These are logical ex er, there are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Hope's not doing well. Discontent's not doing well. I have some food. But not all that many. Or not all that much. And I have laws to send. Care house. Let's do care house. I'll throw it there for now. How much wood do you have left? 13,000, or 1,300. All right, people are eating, so this is good. We still have homeless people, this is not good. I need a coal solution soon. All right, coal mining. I could potentially do thumping, but mining is so good, especially with automatons. All right, steam hub. It's going to be around here. That road will definitely change as I move people away. I have three days to feed everyone. I can do that. There's only 12 hungry people, and I am producing a surplus of food. How much time do I have left? 26 minutes. Three steam cores? Right. The two. Yeah, okay. There is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to the city. The workers were riding in the convoy, or who were riding the convoy, told us they were heading from the city for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up. We tried to follow a search pattern, but we ran out of fuel. Let's escort them to the city. And that will give us our steam cores as well, which will be nice. Okay, steam hub. 
there is going to be a range increase on the steam hub. So I'm not too worried about getting it perfectly on the uh, <coughs> on the uh, I, er, coal deposits. I don't have a steelworks. I need that as well. All right. For now, I'm actually going to just leave you off. Hey, I got extra scouts, and I'm not using them, because I don't have enough wood to use them. Nor do I have enough people to man this. You get one. Scouts are important. Let's send you to the bridge, because you're faster. So the scouts are faster when moving to a place you've already been, so I could send them straight to the weather station. Um, and it would take one day and 22 hours. Or I could send them to the bridge, which only takes 15 hours, and then to winter home, or the weather station. I believe the weather station is bad news. A note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you with all the work we have to do. It's so hard for families to properly care for an in invalid places like this it makes it much easier for life on us life for us all all right i need i need wood you have sick absences because of course you do but thankfully we have workers coming here soon coal mining is good sawmill upgrade could be good so we have negative 40 coming tonight I think should be fine with everything that we have. So let's do this just because it's going to be good to have. And I have no wood. Which is not ideal. You brought me some wood. Alright. Send you out to the bridge as well. Alright. So we have another 40 people who need health. Or who need houses. I can now. One, two. Nope. Don't be like that. You aren't going to be covered. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that will take 40 of you. I need lots of people there. Actually, I'm going to do you. And a coal mine is going to be very useful. Um, so it'll take 40. I can demolish six houses because of that. That's not enough. What are you? You are another coal deposit. I might move some hunters. I'd have to get real close to that for it to matter. I don't think I have to move hunters at all. In fact, I'm going to build some more hunters. Because we just got an influx of people. And people are both hungrier and I get less food. These should be producing 20. But I'm guessing because I'm on hard difficulty, that's why they're not. More laws. Prosthetics are good. Yeah, child shelters. I don't know how many children aren't in shelters right now, but... 
This is going to be temporary anyway. Children cared for. There were not that many children in shelters. Oh, okay. So these two child shelters should do it. The hungry were fed. Good. Hope increases. Discontent falls. We still have bad food. Cold at home. Everyone's angry. Let's move on to the weather station. All right. Do I have any workers working somewhere that's not food? No. Every single worker is working food. <sighs> there we go. Medical post, you should be working. Gathering post should definitely be heated, as well as those and this. Care house, I don't care about. Still have 1200. Alright, so I have steel, I have wood. They're building houses for me. You also go to the weather station. One and great. I have one and really. You are very sick. That's not good. Okay. A note of thanks. We just wanted to thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. It was the right thing to do. Um, if I go down, I can start producing. Oh, I need food. All right, or wood. In that case, I'll do this. Should be done tomorrow. Why aren't you under construction? Come on, people. There you go. I'm actually running a cold deficit. Steam cores! There's nobody in the weather station, but everything seems to be operational. We could try to find out what the scientists from Winter Home were working on. We found scientists' notes. They predict the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is the observations ended abruptly a month ago. There's not, there's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obviously, it's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of Winter Home from the roof of the weather station. One of you go to the coal mine, the other of you can go to Winter Home once you get there. Abandoned station. The re recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. Oh, calm your belly aching. All right, medic apprentices are ideal. We get a bonus at some point once the kids actually are uh, working in the working. There's a coal pile. I have 10 people. I can throw that there. I thought that was a road. That is clearly not a road. Actually, stop that. This is dumb. Gathering post. It's going to be like that, and I could go straight up. Um, actually, probably could have pulled that back a little bit. But once this goes away, I could replace it with a sawmill and get more wood. Right. Uh, tents for people around you. to wait for you to expand. There we go. Of course, you fit there, but you don't... Ah, I don't understand symmetry. And I don't have any more wood. You are important. Especially since I'm losing a significant amount of coal. All right. Uh, you get to be staffed by engineers. 
and you both get to work extended shifts. Go to Winter Home. No prizes for guessing what we're going to find at Winter Home. Have one engineer. It's not even worth fueling. That'll give me not that much coal because this pile was being plucked at the start of the game. So that was pretty worthless as a as a uh, thing for me to do. Coal mine is automated, its engine is pressurized, but the mining has stopped. The snow around is untrodden, and an eerie silence hangs in the air. The coal mine was operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. So we could either take the stored coal or take the machinery apart, but we won't be able to come back here. And I'm okay with that, because the two steam cores will... is just very valuable. So we're just going to take the take it apart. In fact, I'm going to just make a beeline straight back for the city with those steam cores, which we can't even utilize right now. But we will be able to soon. Um, going to need bunkhouses eventually. So I may as well do that while we're, so we're not wasting valuable researching time. Man, I could use more wood. We climbed to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It is a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed, and the generator has exploded. The streets of this ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes a shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair and the following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources, and eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There's no hope. But we get two scene cores. Freshwater springs. We can see glimmers of sun reflected on the surface of water. Unfrozen water here points to the presence of freshwater springs. Just notice there's no storm just yet on the horizon. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we're all alone. Hope falls. And hope is just going to get obliterated. We should have never left Britain. They're all dead? Terrible. All those poor people. We can't end up like them. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. They're all dead. How can we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of winter homes spreads through the city. Some people want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. We must give them purpose. They can either go order or faith. I am going to go order. Um, which requires kicking. Ah, for now we'll just uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So we need two. It's not going to go well. Let's just throw you there. Because I won't be able to actually uh, man these things. The in unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A, gr a group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee for the city of or flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to cha um, change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense! What are we going to... What, are we going to orderly decide who to eat first and when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like winter home. We're not going to die. The Londoners, people are divided, some of them are scared. 
Um, fear may lead people to do desperate acts, maintain peace, ma give people hope. So uh, there are 17 people who want going to London, and because our hope is so low, uh, people are going to join the Londoners as time goes on. And unfortunately, we basically can't do much about that until uh, we pass more laws. So this number will just continue to rise, and hopefully we can get hope up high enough eventually in order to prevent that. All right, I need to pull one of you off and get you there. Watchtower's built, and then you can come back down. Go back to mining. How much coal do you have left? 143. Survivors! Several pools are kept from freezing by a hot spring deep underground. Patches of hardy lichens cling to the bare rock at the edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. Near the freshwater springs are some refugees from winter home. They are a sorry sight and seem to have completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away and then mumble something about eating lichens. Escort them to the city. If you don't escort them, they uh, some people die en route. And I am a merciful person. People join the... People join the Londoners. Now there's 32 of them. Bunkhouses. Drafting machines. I need more wood. Thankfully, you're three hours away from home. Uh, so those are workers. That's good. That was a long time of not doing any researching. All right. The American camp. Yeah, let's start going that way. Start by going to the observatory. Um, so now we can build bunk houses, which isn't going to be all that useful. How many spare houses do I have? I have 140, which means I can kill one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's do ten. Get rid of you as well. And no one's going to be able to do these because everyone is working right now. People are furious. Sir, people are extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt can break out. We must hold on. Okay, discontent is high, unfortunately. So... Um... Have to lower discontent. Two times overtime work. You are probably overtime. You are not overtime. Who else is working? You? All right. Bad food. I think we can afford to switch from being bad food. Cold at home. That's going to be mostly fixed by this temperature rise. So we should be fine. All right, so you got broken down. Let's rebuild that watchtower here. Ooh, everyone is covered. I like that. And everyone there is covered too. I like that as well. The Londoners have gained more followers. All right, we need guard stations. I'm going to remove this house, and build a guard station here, remove this house. Hmm. 
Nope. You're not in range of the watchtower. There we go. So, uh, you get a hope increase for every... Oh, wow. Oh, controversial law. <laughs> Apparently people don't like the guard stations. How many? Okay, not that much longer. Um, but you get a hope increase for every person that lives near a guard station. And I believe a discontent decrease. And there we go. There's at least that. Um, so... You're doing okay. What am I doing? What? And all 20 of these people were going to be guarding, manning the guard stations. Um, I've got lots of materials. There's not a living soul in the camp. We found about a dozen emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees fitted with pro prosthetics. Steel and steam cores. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them had badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol. Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Get one steam core. You're going to be here in an hour. All right. And send back. Okay. 20, 20, 20. You haven't even been started to be disassembled. Brilliant. Flying hunters are good. Uh, lighter scout sleds are better. Factories are good, too. Come on, deconstruct. I don't have time for this. Uh, you can go down there. You can go straight down. There we go. Order guard station. That fits everyone. That fits everyone. I don't believe there are any more tents that can fit. Nope. There we go. Hope rises. So now only a few people are going to join. I have 12 days to fix the last 46 people. Fix. Haha. <laughs> Sounds so ominous. Trying not, I'm gonna try not to be ominous with the order. I mean, both, uh, both order and faith can get lead into some pretty sketchy, scary circumstances. Um, but I'm gonna try not to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. And unfortunately, you can't undo laws. Uh, you can actually go over here. I'm fine with that. Except for you. You can go over there. Wood. The settlement seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty. An upright boulder stands at its center. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its um, roughly painted face, someone chisels the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress, for we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decided to dismantle the huts for wood. Walled colony and a fishing village. Let's go to the walled colony. Uh, how much time do I have left? Two minutes. Well, one minute and 30 seconds. Thunderers gain more followers. They only gained three, though.
All right. I think this is the last. Negative uh, 40 is going to be the warmest it's ever going to get after this. Um, you're full. You're full. That was kind of the point of wanting to put you there. Um, can I build something that takes steel? I'm going to need you there eventually anyway. What about Steelworks? I already have you. Let's build you. I believe that's only... Actually, I don't need to build you. Go away. Something that takes steel. Resource Depot? 5 steel, 20 steel. No steel. A little bit of steel. Alright, Resource Depots it is. Um, let's throw you up here. Two, three, four. And that's the alarm. So I will throw the resource depot down and then pause. Be right back. And I return. I have to set an alarm for myself for 12, 20. So I have 20 minutes. Let's go one, two on this side as well. All right. Lighter scout slides are good. Factory is also good. In fact, I think rushing 
automations is going to be a good thing. So let's do that and then figure out what's happening over here. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it wasn't for a watchman. We're lucky to have them. Yes, we are. They are very friendly and helpful people. All right, after factory, I'm going to go for the extended range on our uh, steam hubs. Numerous snow shelters, expertly built from blocks of hard-packed snow, huddle around cold, burned-out campfires. A deathly silence hangs over the colony. Some of the exiles are still alive, just barely. We could try to bring them to our city, although they might die along the way. One of the dying held a diary to your chest, re read the last entry. Exiled from Tesla City, with food and fuel running out, we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They are last hope. We're afraid this refers to the poor Yankees we buried. Escort them to the city. We pulled the dying exiles from the snow houses and prepared them for the journey to our city. Some of them stirred from death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth. Not yet. Yeah, at least they went, they're going in roughly the right direction. I mean, depending on how early they left, you know, we might not have even been here before when they got here. Or when they uh, starved. All right, let's do Frozen Grove. And another law. Patrol will help us raise hope. Morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time. Let's do morning gatherings leading to foreman. Alright, there's another thing. How's my steam doing? Or my coal? Coal's not doing great. Um, coal, wood, steel. rations coal and raw food captain someone is to face the walls with predictions of doom this is troubling people already still f fear we'll, sh we'll share winter home's fate uh let's send the watchman to remove it which is something you can only do if you have the watchman uh If you have them staffed. Otherwise, you just have to leave it. Some trees in this grove bear deep cuts in the shape of a cross. We found bones scattered around them. Poking around the trees marked with crosses, we found shallow graves. We can cut the trees for wood, thankfully. Alright. We're getting more survivors, which is a good thing. Londoners have gained three more people. And we have 11 days to convince them not to go. All right, making sure that we are... Is that chilly? Chilly's fine. Cold is not fine. Moves up to Chile with the heater. Good. Uh, I'm still producing a surplus of food. Barely. Not even. Okay. Uh, but thankfully, our coal surplus has gone up. This produces. This will give us another one and a half hunters' huts worth of people. Alright, send them back into the Frostland. Go to the temporary settlement and then the fishing village. Alright, I need you and more hunters' huts.
can't afford the food required for the foreman. But I can't afford the food required for the patrol. So a child came to the guard station and gave the guardsman a stuffed toy dog, telling them that they should take it with them when they walk the streets at night. It seems people appreciate their hard work to protect law and order in our city. Yay! Factory! Now I need this, actually. Can I just jump immediately to the next one? Yes. I need better coal. And I need a factory. Just throw that there for sure. Um, so I have 19 engineers, 25 regular workers. The hole in the snow cliffs leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. It might be the sole survivor of winter home. Wood, food rations, and steam cores. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled winter home. After starving the city into a chao chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself as absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most others rebelled against him. And now there's a shrouded cave. We can see a faint wisp of smoke coming from a patch of deep shadow at the base of a small hill. An inhabited cave. Cold homes. I cannot address that. Surely that'll give us more food. I could build flying hunters. That would be ideal. Are you guys still working chump hours? Yes. That is not good. Do you have a surplus of coal? The cave is a hideout for some children who are evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to the city. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teacher and some hunters took them from the winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them that they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, the guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated just in time. Let's get them back to the city. So, because I haven't, don't have child labor, kids are essentially a dead weight on uh, our resources because I can't work, and that's it. They just, they just can't work, and they eat food. All right, it's gonna take a lot of wood and a lot of steel, but I think it's worth it. We need some automatons. Another act of vandalism. Send Watchmen to remove it. Watch members beaten. Captain, members of the neighborhood watch who are removing the Londoner's slogan have been assaulted. Send the guards to secure the streets. Hope will fall if they don't want to escalate it. Secure the streets. Londoners have gained more followers. There are 61 of them. Other cities may have fallen, but not London. Oh, that's where you're very likely wrong there, sir. I could use more. Did I build the child shelter? Yes. Every child is in a shelter. Yes. It's a little bit of a hope bonus. Bonus. That thing's bloody massive. 
aut automations, or automatons, are really a marvel, aren't they? What do you call that thing? An automaton? Yes. Yes, we do. Alright, you're going to be working here. Let's build another sawmill. Not adjacent to streets. That's fine. Mechanical calculators researched. Let's get a steam coal mine. Steam core is a hot spring keeps a tiny patch of sea from freezing. The Americans used this opportunity to set up a fishing village. It's deserted now. Mike, don't return to the city. Tesla's a madman. He casts out all amputees, all the sick. Jerry's parents and old Beth are among them. There will be blood, and that's one for sure. Uh, we can leave it intact. We don't need the wood that badly. All right, so we can go to Tesla City, but because I have steam cores, I'm going to return those. Because those are important. An angry rant. Sir, guards report that a man is giving an impassioned speech to a small crowd. Uh, Captain is trying to keep you content, you ignorant and under control. Remember the new poor law, the workhouses? That's how we live now. We're supposed to work and be quiet. Let him speak. It's his right. Using automations. Yeah. Basically, uh, they work forever and don't care about cold. Uh, I don't need that. I do have 10 extra. A few are persuaded. Let them speak. Chase them away. Disperse the crowd. Chase them away. There are 65. We need to... We need to raise hope a lot. I think the next thing I have to get is a propaganda center. How's my coal? Barely ahead. How's my food? Still not great. It's not because I'm out producing. I'm like, I'm not out cooking anything. So I'm just not producing enough food. I need the propaganda center. It's only 40 and 40. How many houses are free? None. There are none houses that are free. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's just build a propaganda center in the circle. Why is that road just going to nowhere? Okay, I can't. I'm gonna build some bunk houses. Uh, you not connected to both. You are. You're not connected to both. Okay, two is enough. Um, I will throw it over here I think so you no longer get a house and you no longer get a house instead I will throw temporary bunk houses up here so you have two oh I'm out of wood but only for a little bit People support the guards. Serve people are no longer concerned by the lung dirter snogans. Some have started to bring hot soup to the guards patrolling the streets. Oh, and just immediately get more, right, because the children. All right, you guys can head out. I need that coal mine. Propaganda center. How come you can't... Oh. Because there's this little patch of road. I want you to fit snugly. Uh, 
All right, I don't know where you can go, so you're just gonna stay here for now. No, you're gonna go to Tesla City as well. There's probably stuff beyond Tesla City. And let's employ Propaganda Center. Hope rises a lot. And we get fancy new borders, or uh, banners to hang. But we are a city of order. That's it. No mercy for our enemies. May traitors cower in terror. I can afford another automaton. Do I want to? I need to upgrade the steelworks. And now I cannot afford another automaton. An indignant woman. Sir, the guards have reported this woman. Er, our guards have reported this woman for attacking them on patrol. She was cursing them and hitting them with her fist when she, they brought her in. Out of come myself, the woman says. These swine have been pestering me day in, day out. I'm sick of it. They need to check if anything's in order, but there's no excuse for them to make advances. Reprimand the guards. Speaking of patrols, I can't do that yet, but I can deliver propaganda. So I have nine days. People are protesting. Freezing homes. You have to start heating homes within two days and then keep them heated. For two days. I think I can manage that. Alright, so the issue is they are chilly. If I upgrade them to bunk houses, then we'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to upgrade these because these are actually permanent houses. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, unfortunately. And there's the steam steelworks. I need. I could use Flying Hunters a lot. Um, alternatively, I need steel for everything. Everything requires steel. This requires steel. I literally don't have any. Okay. And it's probably, this requires steel too. Actually, I'll leave you there. All right, we need to upgrade the steelworks. The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes to greet us. Able minds and bodies will prevail over cold, reads the slogan at, over the entrance to Tesla City. A central tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges, which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies in the streets, and the stench of burned flesh stain, taints the air. We saw a lightning streak from the tower hit a, um, hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. Uh, I'll risk it. We entered the city. But nothing ever frightened us as much as this blast of lightning until we figured out how to switch it off. Now we're able to establish an outpost here. Nice. One steam core every day. Oh my. People regain hope for the first time. Londoners have failed to persuade anyone in the city. Yeah, but there's a difference between failing to persuade anyone and actually getting... Wow, that is a lot of sick people. Uh, right, I have uh, not that long in order to produce 
uh, houses for everyone. So let's get a second workshop running. None of you have any s have anything. Huge ship has been dismantled here. Only its massive keel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. In the year 1886, the American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from global glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. Now I can finally send both scouts out to do stuff. All right. Uh, I have homeless people. I have a lot of sick people. I have a sawmill working. I have you getting built. How's my food situation? Not good. All right. No, I, 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 can, I can afford to wait. Um, unfortunately, Flying Hunters requires steel to build. Infirmary is good. We have plenty of coal, though, now because of that thing. So I want to expand to another. Uh, if you're persuaded, disperse the crowd. No, chase him away. I can't afford injuries right now. Explorer, Icebound Dreadnought. Those are usually good. Oh, I have another thing. Let's do Foreman. That's probably as far down the line as I'm going to want to get. What else do I need? Right. Right, I don't have the new... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's just build it. Build another neighborhood. It's going to go out this way. It's going to be a steam hub. I don't think it really matters. Right. One, two, one, two, one, two. Watchtower. Poet suicide. Hope will fall. Stay away from it. Basically, the poet was not happy about the what he perceives as badness going on. The door to the research station has been bashed in. Cave hideout. Hopefully there's people there. Icebound Dreadnought. This is the USS uh, something. Transfer all... Ah, oh, yeah, it's the Prometheus... All right, people, bunkhouse. I may as well get tents going. I need, I need bunkhouses. I need two. Survivors! Talk to them. Escort them. They're in a bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Let's take them home. Snow-covered supplies. No sign of the storm just yet. Oh, 
Let's upgrade this. Let's not do that. Let's do... Let's not do that either. But I do want it. There we go. To get those steam cores. Delicious, delicious steam cores. Why is everyone... Oh, because everyone is sick. Right. Alright, let's... Uh, let's pull some of these down. Oh, well, yeah, okay. That's that's the idea. I have 40 minutes to for people to build. They're clearly not going to build it in time. So, overdrive. <laughs> Keep it livable for two days. That's not going to happen. I have failed that mission. What can I do here? Prosthetics is good. Especially since we're going to get uh, people stepped on here soon. Alright, that was set to the wrong AM versus PM. I do have to go to work. So, let's save it as stream pain. Alright, take care.